What's going on, DJBooth.net? This is DJ Blaze, and I'm here in the lab to give you guys a quick unboxing video of the long-awaited Gemini CDJ700 Multimedia Player. So we're going to check out what we get inside the box. We'll do a quick rundown so that you guys can see a basics of what you're getting here. And then we'll dive into a full video review eventually. So be sure to check back when we're done with this within the next few weeks. And we should have the full video review up. But for now, here's the unboxing. This is the first time I'm seeing what's inside the box along with you guys. So we'll take it one step at a time. First up, we have the... Gemini CDJ 700 professional media player big thick user's manual here Next up in the box we have a, another little box inside which contains the power cable and also the RCA cable And then we have the actual unit. The unit itself comes in a type of foam. And underneath that foam, we'll break down the actual. Here we have it, folks. This is the CDJ700. I've used this at the Atlantic City DJ Expo in the past, past show for 2011. And now here it is. So we'll notice off the bat we have a mostly plastic construction while on the back side we have a metal backing plate so that this bad boy is reinforced with metal all throughout. Around the back we have the RCA audio outputs here and there is the AC input and there's also a ground cable post here and a USB input output port for your MIDI controller capability. Up front we have the CD slot and on the top we have a nice color color screen up top very reminiscent of the Pioneer CDJ setup and their layout actually. We have the metal play pause and cue buttons. We have the track search and the search through your song buttons here. We have the big oversized jog wheel with also an LED portion in the middle for other notes and things that they want you to know while you're playing your songs. Um, some lit up hot cue buttons, three hot cues. We have your in and out loops. We have your jog wheel adjust. That way we can make it heavy or light the way it feels. There's a wet and dry level for your built-in effects. You got flanger, filter, echo, bubble, trance, and wah. We also have a jog wheel uh, type in order to change this from a vinyl field jog wheel or to a actual searching jog wheel. You also have the tempo slider up front, pitch bend buttons, master tempo, your range selector. Um, there's the jog mode button there so you can change the different type of jogs like we were speaking about a second ago. And you also have your start time and stop time separate adjustment knobs here so when you're playing back when you want the record or the CD to start up or do you want it to slow down how fast you want that to happen and there's different ways that you can select to use this machine here there's an SD card slot there's also a USB slot for your hard drives and there's different buttons you can press to, press to correspond to how you want to use the device so you have a CD button to use your CD tray you have USB in order to use your USB uh, operation up here, you have your SD for your SD card, and then you have a MIDI button to use your to computer USB that we showed you on the back. So that's basically it in a nutshell. We'll run deep and we'll test this bad boy out. We'll test back the CD playback, we'll test back the MIDI, the SD, and make sure we give you a full and comprehensive video review that's coming shortly so just stay tuned and keep checking us out at www.djboot.net slash djs for djs we update the site every day monday through friday even on holidays so come check us out if you need your dj equipment or production equipment fix 
You can also find us on YouTube where you found this video. It's youtube.com slash real DJ Blaze as the username. And you can also follow me on Twitter to get your up-to-date minute-to-minutes on DJ equipment, production equipment, and everything else that's going on in that realm. And that is at DJ Blaze underscore DJ Booth. Thanks for watching.